this meeting is now open and being recorded, made available to the public through a video and an audio broadcast on Conservation Government Access Channel or the broadcasting at the future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. That was 7 o'clock. Edward Thorne to discuss Lovett's board. We need to say who's here though first. Okay, yep, I'm sorry. Announce who's here. Art Edgerton. Thank you. Kyle Stenchman. Bob Clark. Rachel Keller. And Rick Madden, chair. Thank you, Bob. So Mr. Thorne is off the agenda. Uh, I want to move forward with Jurgen Keller. Well, we have, um, actually, um, Ed Thorne is, I, I have been asked by Ed to apologize to the fact that he had other meetings around this they were all canceled, and he felt that this report that you were just given basically would tell you what he was going to, to say. He went over it with me in detail. Uh, he met with uh, Steve Ivis of Ivis Environmental this morning at Bottoms Ford, and they went through the whole area on the discussion and came up with area with the one, two, three, and four areas and their you know, recommendations for those areas. Uh, anybody discussion? I'm just reading the recommendations. Do you have another one of those uh, sheets? Rick doesn't have his. He should be in the, his stack of stuff over there. Uh, thanks. Mr. Thorne is going before the Northwood Commission Thursday with this basic plan for approval. So this, um, Steve Ivis, it's a, he's a consultant or what, what is he? Do you know? Well, uh, he's, a, he's an environmental expert. Uh, he was recommended by the North River Commission, yes. okay. and uh, Mr. Thorne, I would imagine, hired him as a consultant, but I don't know that. I bet. Right. That's between Mr. Thorne and him. But that guy, I believe he was hired public, as right? a consultant to go over and look at the property and come up with his recommendations. Right. Um, I think it's just light in one area. Um, it does harbor the vegetation. I agree it's a rain garden. Absolutely, at this point. Um, when was the Hydro City? I didn't see Hydro City. So it's scheduled in September. Scheduled in September, okay. Um, yeah. I still think the elm trees have to be addressed. He, um, Mr. Iverson said that he didn't think there was any need to. What, it, that any of the vegetation that was cut down needed, needed to be replaced. And he especially talked about trees. He didn't say elm trees, but he said trees. I didn't see the word trees in here. I'd really like to see those trees replaced somewhere. I mean, we, we asked people to I'd like replace to trees them when they cut, cut them down. The park. I mean, we wanted to do them down at the ballpark. You can have them in both places, I think. And uh, you cut one, you plant two. It's basically cutting stuff. Um, I don't see trees addressed in here, though. Well, unfortunately, this is not ours anyway. We're just, oh, okay. we're just a party to it. This yeah. is nothing just, to do I'm with... I'm just voicing my opinion. With so. the conservation, so, uh, uh, and I'm repeating what Mr. Thorne 
As far as getting rid of the invasive, that's really a huge thing. Absolutely, that's the point of this whole yeah. endeavor was to do that. So that's really good. I think that's that's thumbs up. You know, definitely. It's a. It seems like he doesn't want to do it though. No, um, replacing the vegetation. It's um, growing up, not replacing it, getting rid of it. Excuse me. It's, but he says the invasive species. You have two alternatives: one to do nothing, and two to hire a specialist to remove all invasive species at a substantial cost to the town, and replace that vegetation with non-invasive greenery. I think there's a compromise to be made there. I think if you could move the rocks and get underneath them, maybe put a fabric or something, something else to do there. Just because the rocks that's, are. That's another project that yeah. requires. Funding and all that. Well, no, over but we above. got funding for this project to remove invasive species. That's that's what, what? I believed it was. What, the also. project you got? It's the no. money is there now. Um, to improve the park. I thought part of that was to remove that knotweed. I just um, everybody wants to get rid of the knotweed. We're all on the yeah. same team. I mean that's obvious. Okay, we are. So um, that would be nice to have happen. Anyway, we can. My opinion on that because it's invasive and bugger. Mowing it is a good thing. I agree. There's certain places, it's under things. So, oh, it, 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 what has been done is not going to take care of all of the not weed no, that's no, in, that. in the park. I mean, right. No, and again, because we, it was stopped before it got it, the project was done. There's that much yeah. less that it's going to be mowed all the time because there's still areas that can't be mowed. So yeah, there's, I think there's going to be some areas there without a, a hand mower on an arm. Actually, I think we. I mean, we. Anything that we don't like about this report has to be go to Mr. Thorne right. to oh, take no, care I'm of. Just so. saying a few things here. I'd like to see the not we gone. I think we all agree with that. We'd love to see it gone. It'd be nice for so that's right there and then the three trees. I mean the six trees rather. I still feel you cut a tree, you put one back, but I'm only high school. Um. No. So, I think that's a, it's a general rule. That from, no, it is is it from rule. conservation? That is set, is it, did no. conservation commission set that rule no. that you have to plant two trees for every one you cut down? No, it's not. A, there's no fed, no no bylaw to that. There's no bylaw. It's a no. basic practice. So it's just a practice that we why, try to enforce. That's why they set money aside to replant the trees from the ballpark. We have, you know, that's why funds are done like that. Um, so, any further discussion? What, what's, up, what's before us? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so. No. It's I can't make motions. Just, I don't think there is a motion to make. No. Okay, no. so. Hey. Yes. Move it upstairs. Hey, thank Mr. Thorne for taking care of that part of it for us. Okay, so. He, he will appear before the North River to. Yeah. Get their approval. What's that? And, uh, and there's a that's a posted date for that thing, right? There is. Yeah. We already posted the date for the meeting and stuff. When North River? Yeah, the commission's having a meeting on that. North River was supposed to be. Yeah. North River, the North River Commission is supposed yeah. to have a future meeting. We don't need to post it because no, 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 we are, unless we already did. I said we, I have a yeah a, a memo oh, from yeah. last week. That's what I was saying. So now we. Public hearing as well. Uh, um, yeah, that's not until 7 Next is just the mail. It's 7 or 3. The mail. Seven. Mail is next. The forms to be signed. There are no forms. No forms. So what this is. Just the mail. What? Go through the mail. There's nothing in there, is there? So there's nothing to be signed. No, there's nothing to be signed. There's just mail to be read. This is the mail. In the, in folder. the folder. Got it. <coughs> Town of Pembroke, Office of the Administrator, Board of Selectmen, 100 Center Street, Pembroke, Mass. 02359. July. I don't think we, I think we just usually just pass it around to me, right? I said read it. So well, pass it around. I just wanted to read it so I can yeah, find out what it is. <laughs> we started the meeting, but so. Do we have some minutes to pass them around? Yeah, they're in, they're in your pile. Well, yeah, we yeah. have about <coughs> 20 minutes until. Yeah, right there. And then the rest of us read the minutes where all the mail is being passed. It will save us some time here. We can have our discussions now. 
We're waiting for uh, the 750. What one? Uh, 740, I mean. This isn't 740 yet. Right, so, so, we, so we do have our other discussions, the ones that are later? We have to do it by, the time, by what's posted on time, yeah. Even if it's just a discussion? Can't the chairman move it? <coughs> yeah, so we can't do a 750 thing until 750. Right, but the ones down below, I mean, down below that. 740, 730, yeah, we can come <laughs> down here to 715, 720, 730, 725, 730, 735. They're just not in numerical order. Right. <coughs> so, So I have any discussions uh, 750, Jordan Keller. You can't do that one. Yet. You can't do that one. I have discussions. Let me turn my phone off. Are we on the minutes? It's 720. Are we reading the minutes right now? We haven't done anything with the minutes yet. Oh. 8 o'clock. Get my phone back on. So is the mail all set? We're working on it. Okay. And copy. Okay. Discussion, Little Sandy Beach. So this is old business. Discussion, Little Sandy Beach Control. Are we finished with the other stuff? No, we haven't, we're down at the bottom. Mail and minutes. Oh, I just said discussion. What? Huh? Yeah, we can have these discussions while we're oh. waiting for 7.50 to come. <coughs> So are we not doing the mail in the minutes? That's my. We're doing question. the mail right now. Okay. So doing the mail. We can there's read one it copy, as you go. So along. there's five members. So. Seven twenty-two. Do what now? I, I think you can do the little Sandy Beach version control. I would. We did a little discussion just on Sandy Beach. Uh, years ago, about two, we asked for. Um, Erosion control there. Well, well you go in there, you got 725 and 730. You haven't taken so care of So, we yet. sit here for 15 minutes? Maybe somebody could just read the, the memo aloud so that everyone can hear it at the same time. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Pardon? I don't have it anymore. You want to read it? <clears throat> All right. Are you reading this? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. No problem. All right, from Ed Thorne, Town Administrator, response Department of Municipal Inspections. Effective July 1st, 2017, the Town of Pembroke has consolidated the Department of uh, Municipal Inspections. As the Director of the DMI, I wanted to take this opportunity to reach out and define the efforts to date that have been performed to coordinate the administrative functions of the new entity plans to relocate the staff to a closer proximity and how this is how this may affect your board <clears throat> there have been minor adjustments payroll reporting accrued time reporting voucher authorization and procurement this has streamlined our processes economized our efforts and led to maximize staff coverage to serve the public these are administrative changes only and will not affect how your boards will be served by the staff in any appreciable way Efforts are underway to mildly modify the office adjacent to the building department to allow for a smooth transition of the relocation of the Board of Health staff. Once completed, the Board of Health will enjoy updated accommodations and improved access to the public. Your board will continue to receive the excellent and professional service that the town hall employees strive to provide each day. As always, they are there to serve your board and facilitate any needs that may that you may in preparation that you may have in preparation for your meetings in researching topics and initiatives and according in coordination and present presenting permitting and variance issues that arise and all of the other routine tasks that may that that they have always performed to support your board staff's primary goal is your board's success in all in, of its endeavors from defining and setting policy 
recommending procedures, streamlining and improving resident services as your, con as your constituents have come to expect from your diligent and earnest efforts. Thank you so much for your cooperation in this transition. We are working hard to realize the goal set for us by the voters at town meeting, and your feedback is always appreciated. All right. <clears throat> this is from E.J. Souza to Eugene Fullman. It's a response to Headwall at STA 129 and 72RT. Much appreciated. On July 12, 2017, Gene, who should I contact to discuss a possible extension to work outside at the time restrictions set forth in the contract for the installation of a new head wall on Baca Street, STA 129 plus 72RT. Right now, the restrictions are as follows. No work within 50 feet of stream from 4-1 to 6-15 and from 9-1 to 11-30. Let me know. Thanks for your help on this matter. E.J. Souza. That's the mail. On that piece, it's Landers Company asking DOT and the town about lengthening the period of time that they can work on the head wall. Our response from the office was go to the Heron Fisheries people first, get their response, and then come back to us and you know, we'll have to we'll try to abide by what they say. But uh, basically saying that they need more time than that to do the work on the head wall at the Heron. Which one? Um, the one at Baca Street where Baca Street, the big one. Right yeah. at the corner. The big one, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Does that affect the herring at those times? Well, these are the dates that are set up roughly yeah. for the heron. That you're not supposed to be working in the river Again, and in um, those between those dates. So. Do we know how much time it would take to do that project once they start? Because we could net, we could do things to help. I'm sure it's the herring fisheries. I'll just speak off camera. Well, that's why we're leaving that up to the heron fisheries right. to decide what they can live with because. If we say something, we may not agree. Yeah. Well, the we, controlling we, person we, there is the is the heron fisheries people. So well, that's why we pushed it out. Right. Them. No, but the controlling thing there would be just knowledge of how long they expect it to take and such. You know. I know no more than what's written, no. No, written I know. right there. I mean, when we put in headwalls, the times are pretty quick. No, so I would say that the times that the herring are coming are probably expanded rather than going the other way. So it's going to be tight. That's again. I think it really. Depends on like when they do the pipe on Mattachusa, that's going to be fast. Yeah. Well, until until we hear from the Heron people, the same yeah, exactly. the same memo was sent to the selectmen, so yeah. the selectmen understand well, should I understand it. And when they decide, ours is just a, a wave of a blessing because whatever they <coughs> say is what's going to going yeah. to be the ruling part. So it's no sense us getting overly involved no. till no. we know what's going on. Move that we accept <coughs> the minutes of June 26, 2017. A second. I need a second. I haven't All seen there. the minutes. You haven't uh, seen the minutes? No. Okay. <coughs>
Well, that's what happened at the meeting. We can ask them tonight where, where the keys are. All in favor of the purpose of the meeting from June 26th to H Commission? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Next. Mowing is the next thing. We got a trailhead. Okay, so back to the okay. discussion. Yeah. Um, we didn't uh, discuss the little sandy beach and what's going on there. We're we'll going back to that time next. Okay, so uh, 810 Herring Run Park. 735. Where's the mowing on here? Right above it. No, no, it's not here. It's done. Okay. Ongoing business. 725. Ongoing business. Mowing of the trailhead at Bicentennial Trail. It's already, it's already been approved for, for mowing. It's just getting them to do it. Okay. Um, the overtime has been allotted for the GPW crew to be doing it on a Saturday. Okay, um, there was another thing I was asked to bring up. There's a canoe uh, race going on. What? Uh, there's a canoe race, a North River canoe race going on. And I was asked, uh, the chief already knows the fire chief and the police chief, that they're trying to uh, mow the trailhead at Brick Kill, at Water Street Extension, rather, um, in case you need emergency access. They say they can't get uh, an ambulance in there. Just ask them. Bringing up the flagpole. So I'm not, Rip, I'm, no, I'm no, not no. going to authorize mowing no, no, the head no, 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 on there because it's asked. in the 300 foot area no. of the North River. So okay. without their approval after this last episode, um, I, no, agree. Well, I, think. I agree with you, but that should go through the proper channels. So I'm just telling you what I was asked to bring up, and the data was still here. We always did before, but yeah. not. The way it is now, we're, we have to go through the North River, and their agenda for Thursday, I imagine, is already closed. Yep. Okay. What's the date on the tomorrow? Race? You can twenty-second of call and see if it'll never be done in time. They would approve okay. mowing sure. the yeah. the, the area in front of the uh, canoe canoe launch on the North River. Okay. Oh, the date is the twenty-second for the North River canoe it? race. In an email form. Okay. Uh, the twenty-second is the date for the new race, I believe. Thank you. Okay. Mm. So keys. We have a. We're back to our keys for the locks. Now, yes, we are. It says keys for locks. What does obviously key, the ones What does just, keys for locks entail? Um, the ones we discussed before. That um, for the conservation commission to have keys for gates. Some say that um, we wanted to. All right, let me restart you there. I have a ring of keys being okay. the agent that's yeah. about this big around. I have keys to the front door of the town hall, I have keys to the room, I have keys to file cabinets, I have keys to this, I have keys to that. So, but I'm not about to share all the keys with everybody and it's always been that if somebody needed a key for a reason we gave them a key but okay. it's never been that all the conservation people had keys for everything or actually for anything so i mean even the even the, the, the locks we, that we, we use are chair. town locks I'm and the chair what? and we voted on this already we took a vote we voted to have the keys so it's already done we need the keys but you didn't specify what keys. Yes, did. During the meeting, we specified that we all voted for the keys to the conservation gates for myself and Art. It was voted on, and it's a done deal on the chair. I'd have to see that minutes. Okay, well, look them up, and there's also the video of it also. That's uh, chair. And I, I have another question. Those keys are town keys. They aren't conservation keys. And they fit all town locks. <coughs> and I'm not sure that if we did vote that, that we have the authority just to give anyone a key that fits all the locks to all of the town gates like that. I would agree that not just anybody being the chair, but I think this is a done deal and we're not just anybody with two conservation commissioners. 
and I, I rest on what the obedience of the meeting said and the film, and we'll review it and go by it. Next discussion. I think I'd like to have Mr. Thorns put in input before I give any my keys. And when you are saying conservation, we have things like mind, we get into too much. You don't, some of these things you just we have keys to recreation gates. Yes. And then we have keys to conservation gates. Right. Like say we'll farm or something keeper. like that. Um, the key for that. I mean, you're looking for the keys for the recreation gates. I would say if that's what they are, then that's what you're saying we're looking for. We voted for the conservation gates and conservation lands. We took a vote. It was a meeting. It's clearly documented. And uh, it stands at what it was. So I would say as chair that, you know, we've been after these keys for three years, we've been promised them, and now there's some sort of, you know, reason why they can't happen. It's backpedaling, and I don't understand it, and uh, it's not a good faith thing in my opinion. I don't understand why everyone needs the key. Well, we already discussed it. It's already old business. We're waiting for the keys still. We're waiting for a long time, and it was voted upon, so. That's the process we go through. And that's what we've done. Uh, discussion? Any further discussion? I don't think so. Well, vote stands. Is the discussion open for the floor? I know it's something that's already done. Um, no, we haven't sure. voted. I don't think. Do we have the ability to vote now since we do have members here that can vote? Or it's an odd number? There's what nothing is? to vote on. Well, we voted on the keys already. I'm just asking. Does this make a quorum? Yeah, we have one before. <coughs> yes, sir, go ahead. Um, uh, I'm going to say that uh, you can ask to talk. We haven't, there's nothing to vote on the close, so uh, you have the floor. I was just trying to, I, I was just trying to get up to speed with what the keys were. I, I, I would guess that the keys would be more for employees, no? I mean, you have the agent, right? So you have them? I, I'm not sure if other committees have had. Yeah, I'm just trying to catch I'd like to know missed. if the keys are only distributed to employees or if they are distributed to volunteers as well. As far mm -hmm. as I'm an employee of the town, I have a full set of keys. Yeah. Bob's an employee of the town, he has a full set of keys. Who else has keys? I, I honestly don't pay attention to that. Yeah. I know keys were asked for. I would think Mr. Thorne has to authorize the keys, but Mr. Madden said we took a vote. So as soon as we check with that, we'll get keys made. Um, a lot of reasons people need keys. Sometimes people do above and beyond the college <coughs> and they organize um, equipment from the police department to do cleanups. There's a lot of reasons to get a lot of trash out of certain places. We work seamlessly when possible to clean up. There's terrible messes in this town, <coughs> um, no bottom pond and others. And there's uh, right down at the North River, uh, we call it Site 2, Camp uh, 2, at the old Boy Scout. There's a heap of trash in there. That trailhead you can't get into, we'll have to take it out by probably boat. But because we found it and we're conservationists, we'll go in and get it out of there. We take 30, 40 tires out in piles. We take, you know, on different lands that overlap, herring fisheries, conservation, and conservationists doing the same work to clean up this town. There's a lot of trash in this town, and uh, this groups come out and pick it up. They need access. From my knowledge of what goes on in the town. Further discussion? Move on. Mike. Move on. Move on. The stand says it'll go up to Ed Thorne, and uh, they'll look at the tape and the minutes of meeting and figure it out. Is that a free request for termination? Yeah. Public hearing. Over there. This yeah, one. 735. <coughs> yeah. Sandy Beach. It's 740 right now. It's 740. So. Yes, to move on to take 740. Request for determination of applicability at RDA, Congress Street, mm -hmm. Gordon. Gordon here. <coughs> Gordon? Yes. Yes. Oh. Um, my name is Noah Gordon. 
Troop 105, Pembroke, and I'm doing a, uh, or I'd like to ask for a request for my Eagle project on a Bay Circuit Trail that runs from Congress Street, then Mary Lou's, and ends on Old Washington Street. And I have pictures if you'd like to see them. Yeah. But um, two of the, there are two bridges on the trail that are um, decrepit and falling apart, and I'd like to replace them. And there's a part of the trail that's very watery and swampy, and I'd like to try to put another bridge there. And I don't know if you'd like to see that. Yeah. Of course, yeah, absolutely. What are you going to make the bridges out of? Um, pressure treated wood. That's what the two previous bridges were um, already made out of. I'm not sure who put them there, if it was Bay Circuit. And this was the section of the trail that I was planning on putting another bridge because um, people are going around and creating another trail yeah. off of the main trail to get around. The and this, this is the trail? Yes, the, okay. the trail comes right from the swamp. here yeah, and goes gotcha. through there. Yeah. So you're going to do a straight trail or is it going to be kind uh, of it, different? It's, it's going to be an uh, It's going to be a 16 foot section that runs from over here to here, and then a nine foot section that runs from here to over here. Like down this trail here? Yes. Nice. And this is another third? Um, is that another view of the other one? That's another view of, of the, the one other that's busted up. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I got you. This is the worst bridge. Yeah. This, um, this piece of wood is actually broken right here. Yeah. Um, you can see the dip in it. Yeah, this is the last. Um, the last bridge closest to the uh, old Washington entrance, and then this is the first bridge that's built closest to the um, Congress Street entrance. Yeah. Um, so this borders the North River or the Indian Head, or? Um, I'm not exactly sure what it goes through, but there are two streams that run through it. Yeah. I'm not sure what the, what those are. Um, as an Eagle Scout, you're supposed to do all of the processing and permitting and such, I believe, from um, the process, you know, to do the whole thing. That's what he's here for. Yeah, that's yeah. here for, yeah. so. Um, I think, I have no problem with it, I just don't know its proximity um, to the river, so I think you'd have to give us some offsets from the water if it's like, you know, within 100 feet or 50 feet or something. Well, well um, just to satisfy the North River Commission, the two, the since two everybody else is kind of got to go with the flow. These two bridges do go over small streams, yep. but it's nowhere near yeah. a river okay. that I know of. Yeah, I just did No, it flows into a river. Well, it is, it, I think we're dealing with offsets from the main river, not brooks, mm -hmm. um, I would say, but you'd have to talk to them. But I'm all for it. I think it's a great project myself. I think it has to go upstairs and uh, go through the processes. Who would, do you know who would be the uh, beneficiary, if it would be Bay Circuit or if it would be the conservation? Because I know it is a Bay Circuit trail. Yeah, there's ongoing project. This is part of that loop that's going to go and connect the towns, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Have you spoken with them? Um, I have. I know they were supposed to be here, but I, I don't here. think they showed up. Okay. Um, the representative was supposed to be here, but. Yeah, I think um, I'm not privy to all the different processes you have to go through. I know this is the one we go through here, and if they didn't show up, then um, if there's a permitting process or awareness you have to do. I know that if you're close to the North River at these days, you have to go through the North River Commission as well, and they're always willing to no, work. It's miles from the North River. I did not. I asked them that, so that's, that's good. One thing I do know you, you have to go through, and I found out because Jeremy just finished his uh, Eagle Scout project, you're going to need to see Tracy in the building department because okay. you're going to have to get a building permit, especially with it crossing the stream, okay. even though it's a minor stream. Yeah. Tracy's very helpful with it, but you, you do need to go see her because okay. um, it was just one of the things on the checklist we yeah. had to do. Okay. Tracy Grady would be very helpful with that. Okay. So okay. it's just, you know, get you ahead a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much. I yeah. think it's a great project and yeah. obviously uh, really needed, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, because um, those are older pictures. I'm yeah. sure it's grown in mm -hmm. a lot more. Soon. But uh, I, I was just told that. Um, Looks like a leg breaker. It's a yeah. good thing to fix. I was just told that the um, base circuit needed a sign in and I wasn't. No, we, we can. Remember we discussed this the other day? 
Basic, it doesn't need to sign it. As long as you get the approval from this commission, you'll you'll be all set. Okay. So Whatever the, but you have a form to. Yes, so I have forms. We can take care of that okay. for you. There's two. There's one about fundraising as well. Just leave what you have with me, and we'll take care of it. Okay. Got five minutes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. I will take care well, of this. One. So, all set. You're all set. Thank you very much. Can um, I ask you a question? Do you have any plans for uh, what happens after you, you're grown up and everything, and well, you're grown up now, but um, after you're done, is there any plan for the maintenance of these um, bridges you put in? Well, what I was planning on doing is part of the sections of the trail. Um, there's fallen down trees in the area, and. Um, Part of the trail has it lined, kind of carving out so you know where to go. And for the most part, those have been able to keep back the, um, the brush from growing over that. So that's what I was planning on doing is putting um, in some of the worst spots, putting like logs down across there so they won't grow over into the trail. And that was my solution to that. Because there's not too much I could do about nature growing all, on the trail. All legal scout projects are supposed to be maintained by that troop yeah after that eagles eagle has moved on okay. that's great system it, that's the way we do it that's okay. a great system make sure that the, they don't get broken again or when they do they get fixed. They, yeah get repaired yes that that's the work will continue on mm -hmm. and it's full somewhere else that's a good thing okay. all set yeah. with our blessings Okay, thank Absolutely. you very much. So do, we need, guys need to, do we need to make a yeah, motion? We do. Oh, motion? Yeah. A motion to motion to approve the Eagles Belt Project. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're all set. Uh, I, uh, a date to come back and get the paperwork? Or? Um, I'll give you a call. Uh, probably, not long, right? Mm -hmm. On the paperwork. You can take care of all of it. Yeah, I'll, um, yeah. I can't imagine What's it would be week? longer, yeah, than a week. Okay. But I'll, but I'll call you. Okay. Thank you very sure. much. Sure. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks. Who, who's your Eagle Scout <coughs> advisor in 105 now? Um, this is Amelia. Okay. She can, she, I know, um, with Jeremy, his Eagle Scout, Eagle Scout advisor did a lot of this stuff with him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, well, if, you, if, if you run into problems, she should be able to assist you yeah. with this, too. Well, I think there was a miscommunication because she, I think, who the beneficiary was because she, I think, from her information, she understood that Bay Circuit was the beneficiary and not the conservation. Yep. So I just wasn't sure about that part of it. We should have taken care of. Okay. You might want to contact her just to, you know, make sure that... So something that they want yeah, that's yeah, in your project. I should want to call her after the meeting okay. anyway. So. Good. Good. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Have you. fun trucking in the lumber. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you need any other help. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's a good thing. You're a boy, Sam. Yes, I am. You just got Hey, uh, free to call. Chair calls uh, 750 Dragon Keller for vacancy interview. Seven different meetings to apply the rules and regulations, conservation land and projects to support a <coughs> community garden, North Atlantic White Cedar Reinforestation Nursery, a bit of the town lands, uh, and the parameters of the town, state, and federal uh, parameters. Um, 
So I just come up here to, uh, to find out if I can apply myself towards the, uh, the process to be on the board, the selectmen or whatnot. And uh, what are the, some of the things you've done um, for a living and such? Uh, I've been in carpentry. I've had a uh, construction supervisor license. I've done carpentry for over 15 years. And I know a lot about heavy equipment, too. Uh, front end loaders, backfilling foundations, clearing land, uh, tree service, been involved with commercial landscape. Uh, <clears throat> so I've done a lot of uh, things with land, with knowing, uh, knowing looking at plots, watch people survey lands, uh, all these kinds of things that kind of brought me to, uh, to have a lot of different, knowing knowledge in a lot of different areas. Not that I'm an expert in any right. of them, but I have knowledge in all of them. Uh, tree service, I do agricultural, uh, flowers, uh, hoop houses, greenhouses or whatnot, right. uh, uh, vegetables, fruits. Worked on Lipinski's farm for three years, <coughs> which we do agriculture and whatnot. 70 acres. Nice. Yeah. And uh, I know the uh, zero carbon footprint is when you take a tree out, you add a tree. So yeah. it's, it's we're what you're build, trying to do. building the ozone layer back up. We're not just stripping trees. And, and, and yeah, so <coughs> we need to respect what we have now and if not, add more flowers and trees shrubs and uh, build back up what we have, not just remove. We need to, to, to take um, out 10, we need to add 10. In the part where um, community gardening, um, you do ministry work as well? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. Um, I'm trained by uh, a reverend and I've served on several boards. So I'm sure you could whip up a crew to do some gardening for a community. Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, a real good thing to lead. Yeah, you know, uh, we can have lunch. Awesome. Uh, community garden, people come in and they bring seed or whatnot and then they take care of the stuff. And, and that can go actually to some of the pantries, firehouse pantry, other or local pantries, or whatnot, uh, down Pembroke Center, or whatnot, and it helps feed families. And we also have, uh, we can have like shares too, the people come in once a week. And, and, uh, it's, okay. it's. Marshfield has a very successful one. Me too. Time to look at. Uh, we're all, we all got to eat, eat, so I mean, agriculture is not going away, or, or fruit trees, or uh, it's not going away. It's and uh, you have a following of families and stuff, so that would be good to get family involved and teach and educate that. Yeah. I think and it builds really the super. community stronger yeah. to, to, to have these basics, and we're all going to need these yes. basics. And as a conservation board, we get to do all good things for the community, not just community work as watching out for the forest and the trees and the plants, but um, going forward. I think it's a good process to plant trees and uh, grow gardens myself. That's what I do at Marshall Fair, 20 years of service, four state championships, organic gardening education myself. So that hits my chords. Yeah. I look to work side by side with the uh, community, rub shoulders and uh, build relationships for flowers, yeah. agriculture, food, trees, building relationships, uh, you know, build, <coughs> getting the family strong over time and compliance of the town. It's just it, a community thing that we can come closer together and know our neighbors or whatnot to help them when, when they need help or whatnot. And be stewards of the land, I think. All stewards of land. land. Stewards of land. Good yeah. um, Any further questions? Do you have any questions? I've known Mr. Keller most of uh, my school childhood and everything. And just so there's no conflict or anything, I'm going to abstain from this so there's no... Okay problems with upstairs. Any further questions or discussion? I don't think so. It's, it seems like a, a good fit. I'd like to more of a thank Mr. Keller for, for coming in. I think we need to hear our interviews and perhaps we until next meeting before we make any decisions. Uh, I don't think so. He was already put off once last week on the chair. He's here, and I think uh, we should move forward. We have another interview here tonight. I, as the chair, I would say 
to move forward. I'll second. Everybody in favor? I'm not clear on what your motion is. I'm sorry. That we, uh, Mr. Keller, and put off our decision no, no, until next no, week. Chair. I just we said no. We put him off last week. He's here. He's been here seven meetings. Whoa, I'm making a motion. That's not your spot to be. Okay, take a look. Nope. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Aye. It's a tie. No, it's not. What's your vote? I vote obviously for him. The ayes have it then. Three to two. And what did we... What do no, the ayes have? There's a little confusion here, I think. The ayes have. What's his question? Let's put it off till next week. No. It's not what. That's what you're asking to put it off till <coughs> next week, right? <coughs> that's what we're voting on. So we say no. We don't want to put it off till next week. I don't week. want to put it off. That's confusing to me. So, Bob has made a motion to put it off till next week. All in favor? We just said that we're waiting yeah. for your vote. My vote is that we don't put it off till next week. Vote on it now. So, so I'm going to make a motion to vote right now. Um, so we put it off. So that's the, right. the eyes are. I make a motion to um, recommend Yuri Keller for the vacancy position on our board. Good luck. We still have another <coughs> appointment who is sitting here waiting seconds. to be interviewed. <coughs> oh, yeah, we do have another appointment right there. My opinion as the chair is that he's been here. He's already stepped up to the plate. He has two dates. He prefers to go forward. Well, I made the motion. All in favor of moving forward and we accept his application and send it upstairs. Who seconded it? I seconded it. <clears throat> to move him upstairs and accept his application. All in favor? Aye. 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 Move it up. Okay, thank Sorry you. it's so painful. Thank you, Chair. Sorry it's so painful. Thank you. I think it's painful because we have another applicant sitting out in the audience who so came here for a little reason. Yeah, I, I know that. So what shall you say to the other applicant? She's talk here. To she can come forward and be heard. I'm not on. No, it's a hand back. Yeah, Mark. I think it's you can't, you can't, you just, you just selected Mr. Keller for the position. Moved, no, we have recommended that he go upstairs. We don't appoint him, we just recommend. So you're going to recommend both of the candidates at the uh, same time? How many places are open on the board? One. One. We have Currently, we have one vacancy. We don't have two. I think we'd like to speak to him anyway, in case there's possible openings I, in the future. Being the chair, and I would say we listen to him. He's here. He. In common sense, March. Yes. Yeah, it's been over four months. Right. We waited patiently to. So again, do the we, right voted, thing and we voted that your application goes upstairs to the select board, and they make the choice. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> So we're done. This um, we already have your application. Yeah, have them. But I'll take them back. So you can get off one. Thank you. Make sure you get off. Seven forty-five, fifty. Uh, do you want to wait till eight o'clock? It's eight o'clock now. Well, Seven fifty-nine. Mark Sorter for vacancy interview. Um, we did say at the last meeting that we would have them well, both here and talk. So I don't see why we can't do what we said we were going to do in the last meeting. It's on film. Come on up. Come on up. Sorry for the confusion. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Mark Sotier. Uh, live at the, on Prince Way. I've been in front of the board as an applicant uh, on a pretty challenging project in the past, and uh, the board's been very helpful to me, and 
Bob Clark and I had a discussion about the vacancy and uh, you know it would be a great idea to be able to give back to the community that was helpful to me in getting through my project. So um, as far as work experience, I've done a multitude of things over my career. Uh, I'm, I'm a businessman, but uh, I've been a firefighter at GMT. Uh, I built five houses. Uh, I've uh, done site work. Uh, I'm a CDL truck driver. I'm just a jack of all trades, master of none type, type of guy. But uh, as far as uh, you know, specific skills that uh, that the board might uh, have, I, I'm not sure if I technically have it, but. Uh, you know, I'm able to make a decision, I'm able to do research, and I'm able to work with people, and uh, you know, that's what I would bring to the team. So I'm not sure if you have specific questions for me. I didn't prepare a lot to, you know, for this. Uh, it was just to uh, you know, come and, and see what you all have to say. Um, you said other project. What was that other project to do with the conservation? The project? Yeah, yeah so. Uh, you know, it came before the board. Just yeah, so uh, 42 Prince Way is a kind of a, 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 a has been a challenging uh, project in the town for since 1987. Six people owned this piece of property before I had got it, and nobody was able to come forward to actually do anything on it. So, uh, you know, uh, again, through uh, the help of a lot of people, and, uh, and Bob especially, uh, you know, had some, had some good guidance from the board and was able to uh, to construct a, a home that I live in on that property. So, uh, you know, that, that had been an open subdivision for, for 25 years in the town. And Finally, it's uh, able to be closed uh, because that lot is now is now complete. So, uh, I'm also pretty involved in the uh, Jones River uh, Conservation uh, Group that I uh, look as as living on the Silver Lake. Uh, the whole situation with, with uh, you know the Brockton taking the water, and, uh, you know, doing it, uh, you know, without a lot of uh, uh, caring uh, for for what the lake looks like when they do it. Uh, I'm very concerned about that as as a resident of the lake, uh, and I think that. Uh, you know that's something that uh, the town could be more involved in, and I would, you know, selfishly look at that as something that I think the board could be, uh, you know, active in as well, and working with places like Jones River and the uh, the Plymouth County Water Commission. That's getting more active in that. So, uh, you know, those are the things that uh, I've, I've been involved in that I'm interested in, and certainly working with with uh, people that come before the board. To uh, you know, I think this has been a board that's been very good mm -hmm. with working. With people to help get things done is, is try to stop projects from being done. I think the board's been good historically, from what I've seen, of, mm -hmm. of helping people and guiding people the right way to get their projects done. And I would look to continue that spirit in working with the uh, the homeowner or the applicant to find ways to to get solutions in play as opposed to shut things down. But with the with the premise of caring about the obviously the environment as well. Um, my thing, like I said to him, it's no no secret as I believe in forest restoration of the North Atlantic White Cedars, right in your backyard of Log 12 and other locations uh, throughout the town. Mm -hmm. So, and the community garden, um, I think that's a great thing for conservation land use. What do you think? Yeah, I, um, you know, personally I'm, a, I'm an organic gardener, uh, no chemicals, I don't believe in that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I've been living that way for the last 20 years, so, uh, you know, in, in bits and pieces, uh, you know, I, I subscribe to a lot of different uh, of these conservational theories, but uh, you know, have never had the experience of, of being on a board. And again, it's just uh, you know bringing bringing a, a different perspective maybe to the to the board, and, uh, and again working with people to uh, you know to do the right thing and help them along. But certainly, uh, you know, restorations and and uh, and things of that nature, I am all for that. Do you, do you have any ideas what what can be done with that Silver Lake issue? Well, I know that um, Brockton is uh, the, the state's coming up with a, a, a mandate sooner or later to uh, to require them to take a certain amount of water from the aquaria site mm -hmm. that they, uh, the desalinization plant that mm -hmm. they're locked into for a number of years for several million dollars a year. I think six. And they don't even run it for that area. They don't even take water out of it. Uh, there, there's also some conversations about the NWRA, which is right in Stoughton, and that hookup to Brockton is really very simple. That, People are playing it like it's very difficult, but it's the next town over has the MWRA. So I think there's there's different solutions. As I understand it, Silver Lake replenishes itself in, in the capacity of about four million gallons a day. They take ten million gallons a day. So even if you could, you know, get them to half their consumption from Silver Lake, I mean, it would really restore and uh, you know, uh, you know, get, keep the lake as is uh, with other sources coming into play. And, and I believe the state is mandating something this year. 
to force them to have a secondary source. So. Yeah, I heard just uh, on the grapevine that the desalinating plant uh, actually doesn't run its in litigation. It may be there for like 30 years. That's what I heard. That there, it's not a, able to run to near capacity yeah, for its design, and it's it's a kind of a flaw. The uh, mayor of Brockton is trying to buy it, actually. There's, seven, I think, a $72 million uh, deal on the table for them to buy it. Uh, they're paying six million bucks a year anyway, and not taking any water out of it. So there's there's you know pros and cons to each side of it. But I, I believe it's coming to a vote sometime this summer in Brockton. The uh, NWRA is a uh, small, unfortunately, end of a pipe compared to the solution. Um, I like you know the quick hookup is a very small pipe compared to the solution. So. And Pembroke, um, I know our water is not ours and we need to conserve and uh, I feel the bigger threats are the drafting of Oldham and Furnace Pond from Big Sandy Rock and Abington pulling the aquifer. I think that's one of the bigger, it's 60, 40 foot deep, 12 foot deep. I mean, that's my theory, but 20 high school, that that needs to be worked on. Yeah, no, I agree. And also, uh, you know, the whole issue with the Mont ponds too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a mess over there. That's the worst of it. It, it really is. Uh, you know, West Montpossett especially, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's criminal what's going on over there. And, uh, you know, I think collaborating with the other towns to, uh, you know, come up with solutions and kind of, you know, working with the big bully, which happens to be Brockton. And, uh, you know, I, my, my thought with them is, you know, you, you can't see Civil Lake from Brockton, nor can you see the Montpossett ponds. And they just don't care. So, uh, you know, I think more activism is needed uh, to, to work with them on that. Again, I reiterate not to cut you off, but I think uh, the pulling of Oldham and Furnace by both Brockton and Roth and Abington, one from the surface and one from the bottom, is like basically intolerable over a period of time, which is not a good thing. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Questions? Well, I'll just make the statement that everybody can see I signed Mr. Sauter's uh, application. Um, he worked for me this winter plowing snow, did a terrific job. Um, I was here a couple meetings through his Prince Way stuff. Um, I think he does a great job at whatever he decides to do, and I would recommend him for conservation. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Hi. I would say, um, I myself, it, uh, <coughs> the eyes don't have it, so we we'll vote to accept it, right? Move it up. Move upstairs with the selectmen. There we go. Um, I think, obviously, we have a lot in common you know, about the environment, which is a good thing. So move it upstairs, we do a positive recommendation, and goes upstairs. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. I just want to be clear what we just voted on. <coughs> to move them upstairs to be uh, Both applicants, the right? Right, both applicants. Both applicants. That's right. Up to the selected. You might want to clarify your motion. To, to send Mr. Sauter's application up to the selectman's okay. office. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yep. Okay. okay. We have eight. I don't know what this is. Oh, nine. We can go to the uh, park stove. Oh, did you want to do Little Sandy? I'll go back, okay, come back to Little Sandy. Um, old business, subject Little Sandy Beach erosion. So we can't vote on it, but uh, discussion. You can discuss it, but you can't take a vote on it. Right, we can discuss it, I said, but we can't vote on it, but we can discuss it. So. Well, was it, did we have something that uh, someone was going to do some work down there? Or? Well, we brought it up and 
the problem is three <coughs> roads run into Little Sandy and it silts up every year that it rains and just keep putting more and more silt in the way and more stuff on the beach. I'd like to see some sort of a, myself, that's why I brought it up originally, um, it, it needs to be addressed in a way that it just doesn't keep pouring down the roads and into the, the river, you know, into the pond. It's one of the cleanest, beautiful ponds we have left in this town. And I think we need to somehow find a solution that whether it be grass or something, a, a strip something, to stop the water from going in and channel it to the catch basin or um, not just run it through a gutter where it comes off and just rips out the beach. It's a long-term problem and we need to kind of address it. We brought it up a year ago. I'd like to readdress it. Yeah, it was brought up a year before that, and right. a year before I, that, I and a year before and that. It's still running. And in. water still runs and downhill. Still runs and in. Right. What right. are you going to do with the water? Well, yeah. if there's a catch basin over to the right, maybe the grade should be changed and a, and a curb built. Um, just what are you going to do when the catch basin fills up? Um, That's what's happening. Well, the catch basin, there's the drainage there just can't take the amount of water that comes down the hill. So the it's an engineering down. problem, and the right. engineers haven't figured it out yet. So. so we need to keep it on the table and fix it. You know, it's it's, it's the right thing to do. What is what is your suggestion? Um, that we, if necessary, hire an engineer. It's a public beach. You can't just keep throwing waste down it and into the pond. I believe the town has already hired an engineer so. to do it. And, and they the said they had no solution. They've tried all sorts. Of, it's they haven't come up with one that I know of yet that worked. Because if they had, we wouldn't yeah. have the problem. So it's uh. Maybe we need a different engineer. So we need to find a solution, in my opinion. I'll bring it up every year. You know, that's all he can do. Um, as chair, it's just one of those things that we should work to fix. It's a public beach. It's got a guttering off the water and like 14th century plumbing, basically. Not acceptable, so. What is it? Come up with a, de uh, a solution um, or, or a plan. I'm not an engineer. I'm just stating the obvious. And again, I'm stating the obvious that we have a real problem and we're not addressing it. We're a conservation commission and somehow we're supposed to address it. I'm no, not it I believe that Mother Nature probably had that water come down those hills. But not through roads. Long, right long, before, roads. <laughs> yeah. long before the houses were even there yeah. and it all ended up. And as you build houses, you disturb its flow. I mean, some of the solutions in there is take half the houses down and put in a big uh, detention pond. Well, but that isn't going to happen. I don't no, care how no. bad it is. That's not going to happen. No. Um, what about on Tool Trail where they put a pump and a sump in, and it's now pumped? I mean, something no. to collect some of it even before it runs out of gas trap. It, it's just not acceptable in my book. Being a conservationist, it's going to collect. What? It's going to. You're just going to pump it to where? Back to the pond? Well, where do they pump the one from Little Sandy? That, that they pump in there, the little tool trail. I believe that's a sump pump in a system. Where's that go? A drywall or right in the pond, I believe. But uh, yeah, but so here, here you have too much water. There you had a, a select, have a yeah. hole that needs to be pumped yeah. dry. Here you don't have the hole. Oh. I mean, we could make a hole by building the beach up, and if, but that's oh. not solving anything. Well, you well, could have a sediment trap at least. I just think there's got to be hay bales, something like your filter. Somehow, somewhere has to have a solution to this because it's not right, it's ongoing, and it's a public beach. It gets closed a lot, and it's, I mean, just, I brought pictures. It wasn't pretty. It's a public beach. One of the best ponds we have, we're silting it up every time it rains with PCBs off the road, and to me, that's, as a conservationist, to find a solution. You just really find a solution. I would say Mr. Thorne has pretty much deemed himself um, in charge of the beaches. So maybe we need to bring it up to Mr. Thorne yeah, and I mean, the town needs to... I'm not trying to beat anybody up here. No, just I'm just saying. It'd be that great to if, fix it. If, if that's the case, um, like I say, Mr. Bo Mr. Thorne has um, taken control of the beaches, I believe, from the town landing committee. Don't quote me on that. Uh -huh. um, but. Maybe we need to bring it up to the selectmen and they can put an article forth on town meeting floor for some type of funding to have yeah, something I done. I, I honestly don't. I know it's a real problem, know. but I want to fix it, you know, and it won't get done if we don't take appropriate action. So I would say we move it up to Ed Thorne and, you know, that's 
who has taken authority over it. If that's true, then. So we have Rachel write a letter to Ed Thorne? Or I, to I would say, I don't know if you have to write a letter or just the chairman go up and talk to Ed and say, you know, we, we've got an issue with this. Um, is there any type of funding to get somebody in to find a solution? I would definitely talk to Ed. I don't know how receptive he's going to be, but it is something I would love to be able to fix because it's just not right. One of those things. Not disagreeing with you? No, exactly. Yeah. It's a beautiful I'm beach. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's just beautiful a, beach and pond. It's not something that just came up and they've been yeah. trying to find the solution. Oh. They've done hole yeah. digging and, and yeah, everything it's, else. It's just so much water coming down. Shot of no place to go. The shot yeah. of doing away with the beach and letting the beach become a detention pond, there doesn't appear to be a whole lot more that can be done there. So it's do you do away with the beach completely, or do you have a problem at the beach and still be able to enjoy some of the thing? Well, that's it's not a problem with the beach. It's silting a pond every time it rains, and that's just not a. That's not just the beach. That's the pond. It's significant. It's building a delta. And the more sand we throw at it, the more bigger the delta gets, and the shallower the pond gets, and the more silt goes in. But I, I see what so Bob's saying. The I only thought, place to do anything I there know, is, is the, the beach. beach. So. I would think it would take a vote of closing that beach to be able to do something. And and again, I don't know the answer, but that's the only piece of town owned property that's there. Yeah. So under the road, I, the, I, I know the beach. You're, you're not going to you're not going to dig a foot and a half under that road, and right. you're going to be at the water table. And the trees are here too a little bit. Unfortunately, there's, there's plenty of stuff buried there. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Like uh, I said, so it is a complex situation that. Again, I just got to keep knocking on the door in the conservation. It's a beautiful lake. I'd like to see it fixed. I say I, I would go see Mr. Thorne and see if he can present an article at the town meeting, either the one coming up or in the annual, and see if there's some type of funding available to do something. Is that a motion? He, I'll put it in as a motion. I just think. Do we all agree? You can't make we a can't motion on this. On. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I guess it has yeah. to be, we can't yeah, make a motion on it until no. it's advertised correctly. Okay. I apologize. I got you. My bad. So well, we can, can all agree talk to that uh, we, we want to revisit to this. Yeah, we can. Okay. okay. Table is for further consideration. Somebody. Um, I move to table this for further consideration. Second. State voice for further consideration and uh, try to dig up a solution, all funds intended. Yeah. You have to vote. Mm -hmm. vote on your second. I made a motion, he seconded it. So we vote in on favor. It. What's I the motion? To send this to Ed Thorne uh, to try and find. If you've tabled it, it it's all set. Vote. You don't need to take a vote. That's what okay. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Okay, if you take a vote, then you'd say right. yeah. All right, right. I thought we did. So You've tabled it. Table it for further consideration. You got an 810 Heron Run Park stove. Okay, that's it. Um, Heron Run Park uh, about the stove. Again, um, you had suggested, I believe, Bob, that we go through a fund and do all the work. Oh, we've already taken a vote on that. Right. Is it minutes? Yeah. But what did you want to say? I believe we had taken a vote, so I wanted to say, like, what is the process and what's going on with that? Oh, this discussion. Vote. Mm -hmm. that that in the at that meeting, it was um, voted that 
Herring and Fisheries would submit an application to the Community Preservation Committee for funding. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. really? uh, was the Herring and Fisheries sent a communication for that? In fact, I thought I that's just what you out. folks were. I know, I know it's just paperwork, so why don't you send them off one? What? An email. To Mark Amarillo? To Mark Amarillo, I would say. You send that. You want me to send who an email? Mark Amarillo. To say the, what? What we voted for him to do, to send it to. Are you members of that committee? Yes, that's, okay. that's so, why I'm saying I can be members of it, but we have a leader. And if well, I, I can't that, instruct your committee to do anything. No, no, not instruct. We voted that they submit an applicant of application, so. Yeah, but we can't, we can't instruct okay. them. You can. I would think as members of the committee, you could go there and say, we should submit okay. an application to the Just community preservation committee. He doesn't like me to cut him out of any um, protocol. And the goal oh, yeah, but I can't, as it, I mean, as the admin, I can't instruct I, your I other I would suggest at the next hearing come meeting that you bring it up that they, okay. you should go to the CPC. Okay. Because we, we shouldn't be directing you what to do. We just suggested that if you want if that building needed repairs in the stove, that this is, would be the proper procedures for the Heron yeah. Run people to do it, not conservation. So I forgot, you did drop the ball for us to do that and take and actually work on the building. I thought the conservation was under that, I forgot we did the transition. So it's in our court as, con as fisheries to go ahead and do that. Who currently is claiming ownership of the building there? Well, Who, who's in charge of the building? What what group of people? I think the selectmen are, aren't they? Yeah, well, uh, you're getting into it. The selectmen are in charge of the building. Conservation is in charge of the land. Okay. So we have to just get approved from the selectmen, it sounds like. Well, we have to take over the meeting and apply, like they said, for the PCP funds to the whole building over, including the chimney, the whole thing. I think that's a good idea long term, the right way to do it myself. I'm glad about that. My bad. <laughs> I set and, the agenda. And I, I should say, when we say that selectmen are in charge of the building, we are doing that only because when the gas building became before us, right. the selectmen at that time took charge of the building. In other words, working with Kiwanis, yeah. not us. So if we're assuming that because that was the situation when Kiwanis wanted to work at the gas building on that piece of property, then if the Hearn people want to work on the, on the building, they, then they would have to go through the same procedure. Basically tit for tat. No, tit for tat, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. I agree. But that's... That, that, that's on me. I forgot that we... I don't know. I don't believe it's written anywhere that the selectmen are are in charge. They just took charge, and that was the way it went. All right. That's it. Any other business? So I would move that we close. Eight fifteen. About eight fifteen. I move. I would like to move that. Yeah. Um, probably. Impending I move that Rachel be asked to write a letter thanking Andy for all his time, effort, and work that he did with the Conservation Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We move it close. All in favor? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Did you have some other business? Or did you just no, gotcha? I'm okay. Actually, here as a citizen. Cool. Watching. Oh, thank you.
Thank you.